Hi guys and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking. Today I'm not wearing green because I'm Irish. I'm wearing green because I'm talking about money. Yeah, money. And I was kind of working out. But today I want to talk about Birds of Prey. Okay, last night I revisited Birds of Prey, watched it. And the last time I had seen it was in theaters back in February. Now the film for me, as a film, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Uh, I liked Margot Robbie coming back as Harley Quinn. I liked Kathy Ann's kind of direction and what she was trying to do. I liked Ewan McGregor's Black Mask. But the things for me in the film where there was downfalls was... It was an R-rated film, but it didn't push that R-rating hard enough for me. You know, there is blood, there is cursing, but it, it could have went a little bit harder. If that's the case, they could have just had it as a PG-13 PG film, and then younger kids may have been able to go see the film, and it may have made a little bit more money. But today I want to talk about why the film didn't make more money than it did. It had a budget of around $85 million to $100 million, and it grows 200 million worldwide. Now with any budget, you probably have to make double your budget to break even. Got to do with marketing costs, cost to the theaters, and things like that. So it would have to grow 160 million to break even. Birds of Prey grows 200 million, but when you take away all the other stuff as well, it probably didn't flop, but it didn't do anything amazing at the box office. It probably just about broke even or made a little bit of profit if you bring in the blu-ray sales as well and stuff like that but overall the film i did enjoy it but there should have been more black mask Uma mcgregor's black mask was brilliant but you should have had way more of him there should have been a little bit probably a little bit more action in the film when there was action it was done pretty well from the john wick guys and that was done well but it could have been there a little bit more a little bit more of a presence throughout the film the comedy, the interaction, all that stuff, that was okay. But why didn't the film make more than 200 million? Especially since Margot Robbie is coming off the success of Suicide Squad and everybody coming out of Suicide Squad was raving about Margot Robbie's incarnation of Harley Quinzel. Now I have a few, uh, I have a few things why it didn't make money. If you go back to Suicide Squad in 2016, the marketing for the film was actually pretty good. The first trailer came out, people were raving about it. Another trailer came out, people were raving out. Another trailer came out, and people were really excited for Suicide Squad. The marketing was heavily linked into Will Smith starring in the film. Will Smith, big star, all, known all around the world. Maybe not as big as he used to be, but he can still be a box office draw in the right film. The marketing was around him. Then the marketing was around Joker. Joker is a huge IP, made famous by Jack Nicholson, made famous by Mark Hamill and Heath Ledger. Everyone knows the Joker. They love the Joker Batman uh, scenario. They love that stuff. So they marketed around Will Smith, Joker, two big IPs per se, two big stars. And they also, even though he wasn't in the film that much, they marketed Ben Affleck's Batman. Coming off the success, and everyone raving about Batman vs Superman in terms of Ben Affleck, they marketed him big time, even though he wasn't in the film that much. So there you had, you had Will Smith, Joker, and Ben Affleck's Batman, huge entities, being marketed for this Suicide Squad film, a group of unknowns. Harley Quinn is known, but she was only created back in the early 1990s. She isn't that overly known by people in terms of movies and content on TV. And then you had Al Diablo, you had Captain Boomerang, you had Amanda Waller, you had these kind of characters that people didn't really know about, general audiences didn't know about. But everyone knows who Will Smith is, everyone knows who Joker is, everyone knows who Batman is. And that's the main reason, one of the main reasons that people went in floods to go see Suicide Squad. And people come out with Suicide Squad, and what were they talking about? Were they talking about Will Smith? Maybe, a little bit. Were they talking about Jared Leto's Joker? Maybe, because he wasn't in it that much. Were they talking about Ben Affleck's Batman? Maybe. But the big raving praise coming out of Suicide Squad back in 2016 was Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinzel. Now that got people talking, oh unbelievable, she's, she's brilliant at Harley Quinn. And people couldn't wait until the next Harley Quinn outing. You look at Halloween, kids, what were they dressed up in? Harley Quinn, even adults. So the marketing for Suicide Squad with David Ayer was actually very, very good. And that's how it got people to go see these unknown characters. And the, the status of Will Smith, the status of Jared Leto's Joker, the status of Ben Affleck's Batman, propelled the popularity of Harley Quinn. 
People went in to see Batman, Joker and Will Smith, they came out wanting to see more and talking about Harley Quinn. That's where Birds of Prey failed for me. The marketing for Birds of Prey was very, very poor. It was called Birds of Prey and the blah, 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 whatever it was called of Harley Quinzel. When in all fact, it probably should have been called Harley Quinn, which after a week or two within theaters, they changed the name of the movie from Birds of Prey to Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. There you go, marketing poor straight away. The trailers, the TV spots, there wasn't that much coming out. And even the trailer that did come out for Birds of Prey wasn't that good. It was okay, but it wasn't mind-blowing. So they are already up against it. You look at the movie, who's in it? You got Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. Everyone knows her from Suicide Squad. Who else is in this that you know? Nobody. Nobody. The characters in this film, Black Canary or... or um, Huntress or Renee Montoya I didn't even know who they were I'm not a big comic book reader I didn't know and I'm sure general audiences didn't know they might know the actors or the actresses in this film but even the actors in this film weren't that of high status bar Oom McGregor and when they were marketing Oom McGregor's Black Mask they didn't really market it that heavily and Oom McGregor's I love him as an actor I watch anything he's in but even he isn't that big box office draw in terms of a name so into Birds of Prey you were missing Will Smith, Joker, Batman, that marketing that was vital to Suicide Squad's success. That's why for me I was very annoyed when they were showing Jared Leto's shoulder or doing a cartoon version of Jared Leto or they had a stunt double in for, or uh, just a random guy in for Jared Leto and we were supposed to think that was Jared Leto. No. If they had cast Jared Leto in this film, even if it was just in 10 minutes, like he was in Suicide Squad, but you marketed the shit out of that Harley Quinn Joker uh, scenario, more people would have come out, I guarantee you. And even if you didn't want to bring back Jared Leto's Joker, okay, fair enough, you don't want to do that kind of movie, and the, the abuse and all that stuff, okay. But the Will Smith's there. I know it would have cost a lot, but I guarantee you if Will Smith was in this movie, it would have made more money because their chemistry in Suicide Squad was actually very good. And we even know from David Ayer's cut, the two of them hooked up. You know, this is supposed to be kind of a sequel, but not a sequel to Suicide Squad. But those elements were big misses in the Birds of the Prey marketing. And for me, that's why you've made 200 million. Is the film bad? No. Is it a missed opportunity? Probably yes. There could have been more Black Mass. It could have been longer. It was very short. They could have showed it Harley Quinzel and Joker, that element a little bit more, had Jared Leto's Joker in there and actually showed why they broke up and why she wanted to get away from her or why she even loved them that much. You're in Gotham City, there's no Batman. Even if you just had Ben Affleck's Batman come back, even if he was in for a five minutes altogether, even him in the suit or a stunt double in the suit, Richard could throw in the stunt double for Ben Affleck. If you had had him in there for four or five minutes, you could have used that in the marketing. So the, for me, the marketing was the biggest downfall for Birds of Prey, not the direction of Matt McCarrion, not the performances from the actors. But if you guarantee, I guarantee if you had Will Smith in this film, if you had Joker in this film or Batman, one of those three, people, more people would have went out to see those because that's what the marketing was telling us. And then who would have you came out talking about? I went in because it was a Harley Quinn film, because it was a DC film. Harley Quinn was good, but who did I come out wanting to see more of? Black Canary. If... They had the marketing around Will Smith's jo uh, Deadshot and Joker or Batman or even a different DC character that's well known by general audiences. They would have went in to see those characters but they would have came out to s talking about Black Canary. Warner Brothers for me were too, um, too cocky in terms of Harley Quinn and her status. For me, she was propelled by the elements I talked about in Suicide Squad and they thought she was big enough to own her own film, to star and lead her own film. Not yet. That's why you needed Joker and Batman in this film, even for a shorter amount of time, and it would have propelled Harley Quinn even more. And in the next Harley Quinn movie you do, people know her even more and want to go see Harley Quinn. The Suicide Squad film with James Gunn, Harley Quinn is going to be in that film, and that's why people are going to go see it. But also, John Cena, they have other elements, they have other stars. And people will come out probably talk about the other characters that we don't know about. Okay, that's my thoughts on why Birds of Prey didn't make as much as it should have at the box office. 85 million budget, 200 million worldwide. It could have done better. For me, the marketing let this film down, not the direction from Caddy N. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Why this film didn't make as much as you think it did. Am I wrong? Am I right? Give a like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Have fun.
Birds of Prey, I liked it and I still watch it.